Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lulu. If it's your first time here, please do what to subscribe before you leave and also hit the notification button. That way you are notified each time I upload a video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I make kati kati or how I cook my kati kati. Um, I've had a few people ask me how I cook my kati kati because it tastes so good. So I've decided to share with you guys the ingredients that I use to make my kati kati and also how I make it. So since I am unable to get my hands on uh, fresh, um, fresh jama jama, I'm using spinach. So I left this bunch so that you guys can have an idea of the kind of spinach that I'm using. So this is a spinach that I use. I use a spinach um, in the bunch. This one. This is the same spinach that I use for my eru as well so all i do is i just chop it up i wash it chop it up and then put it here <clears throat> and then the next step i'm going to show you guys the next step the next step usually i just put it in hot boiling water so right now um, i'm going to show you guys the next step And also, before I continue, I'm going to show you guys, before I continue, I'm going to show you guys how I chop up my, um, my spinach. I don't like it to be like very thin, so I try to like um, cut it a little bit bigger, that way it feels like jama jama. So the next step is to put it into hot boiling water. I have my water boiling right now. I'm going to show you guys the next step. I'm going to put in <clears throat> a little bit of salt into my water. So what I normally do is I don't like to leave it to cook for a long time so I do not cover my pot yes I hate covering my pot of vegetable just because um, it gives it like a darker color so I rather just I always just leave my vegetable the pot open especially when I'm trying to like boil it I don't I don't cover my pot even with my air I don't like to cover my pot So we're gonna leave that for a while, um, say like five minutes or two to three minutes. I'll just leave it for like two to three minutes and then I'm gonna move to the next stage which is going to be to strain it. I'm gonna so while that is cooking, I'm gonna show you guys my ingredients. Over there in the pot, you can see I have my chicken. So for kati kati, it's always best if you use It's good if you use your like um how you call it if you use country fowl <laughs> I prefer country fowl and it has to be smoked so I normally just get this one so you can see it I already boiled it um, I just used some Maggi and salt and some onion to boil it so it's right there and but there's a stock from the from the chicken so you can see the chicken has already been uh, because normally you're supposed to have like that um should i say burned not burned but you're supposed to like smoke 
the chicken so my chicken was already smoked and it's the country fowl which tastes even better so that is that now I'm going to show you guys the ingredients of now I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that I use to make the kati kati was better so for my vegetables I have of course I have my palm oil right there I have some seasoning I have some oil you can see some oil I have some oil I have some salt I have some seasoning cubes I have some onion and for my onion I always prefer to use the red onion especially for vegetables because I believe that it smells gorgeous or it smells beautiful and yeah and it makes it taste even better so I use some red onion and then I have my tomatoes and then um, I have some onion powder this is optional and I have some black pepper normally I would also use a little bit of um, white pepper but I ran out and then most importantly I have my country onions and that's it that's all you need for your kati kati nothing complicated um, I'm gonna show you guys the process so my my thing has been cooking for a while I'm just gonna strain it and make sure that I squeeze it and remove all the water from it gonna pour in some cold water so you can see it, it is leafy just like your country jama jama that's the more reason why I chop it up in like medium sizes just because I want it to be leafy just like this So while I'm um, letting that to cool off a little bit, I'm going to start with my kati kati chicken. So right now we're going to start with the chicken. So I'm just going to pour in some tomatoes inside and let it cook. Let me bring it closer so that you guys can see. So remember that I boiled my chicken with some maggi and salt as well. I'm going to add in a little bit. I'm going to cover it up and let it cook. So I'm going to cook it until that water is all gone. So mind you, I cooked my chicken, but it was half done. So it wasn't like well cooked. So I'm going to add in my black pepper. I have to put enough. And then I'm going to put in some onion powder. And then I'm going to put in my country onions. This is very, very, very important 
for your kati kati and you also you have to be careful so I'm just I'm just gonna eyeball it then that is about half a teaspoon We're going to leave it cook again before I add in my oil. So my, my tomatoes have been cooking. And you have to make sure that it's been cooking for a while and you have to taste it to make sure that everything tastes good um, to your satisfaction. Like the maggi, the salt and everything else. Um, and also you have to make sure that the sour taste from the tomatoes is all gone. Okay. I'm going to start dumping in my vegetables. The real traditional way that I know you don't have to put so much tomatoes but I love mine with so much tomatoes so you can do yours whichever way that you like. Mmm, it's so good. Oh my god, I'm gonna sit on the floor and eat some. Done. There's still so much water inside, but I'm going to let it. I'm going to pour in my palm oil. Add in my onion. What is kati kati without palm oil? There's still so much water, so we're still going to leave it so that the water can dry up. I'm going to taste it. Good. We need the water to be completely dry. Leave it to dry up some more. So while this is cooking, I'm over here. I'm boiling water over there. I'm boiling some water for my fufu. So I'm going to start with my fufu. I'm going to start cooking my fufu. You can see my water is boiling hot. I'm just going to reduce the water. I'm using some white corn. Just going to put bit by bit. Please make sure you reduce the heat before you start doing this Cover it up and let it cook. I'm going to increase the heat a little bit. 
So now let's check on our Katsi Katsi, the chicken. It looks good. Yes, this is what you want it to be. Ooh. I spilled my pepper. This is what you want it to look like. See that oil? So, yep. That is it all done. It's time to check on my food. There you go guys, I have my plate of kati kati right here, right here, I have my fufu and I have my vegetable over there, yes, so this is how I make my own kati kati, everyone cooks differently, like I said before, um, if you enjoyed the video, please do want to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't, I have a lot more videos coming up.